Welcome to the video accompanying Lesson 2 for Robot Basic. If you've done Lesson 1, you remember we ended the video with this short program. Let's refresh your memory of what this program did when we ran it. Pressing the Run button, we get this triangle. Let's remove this blue line to begin with. To do that, we'll go in and take out this last three lines. We'll highlight them and press delete. You could have just backspaced, of course. If you run this program now, you notice we get those two lines. What we're going to do is to create a robot. Let's look again. We want to create the robot perhaps around in this area. Maybe that would be over about 150 and down about 200. Now that you understand the coordinate systems, let's try to do that. We'll use R, locate. All of the robot commands begin with the letter R. We're capitalizing the L to make it easy to read, but capitalization is not required with any of the commands in Robot Basic. So remember, we're going to locate it about 200, maybe 150 over, and 200 down. Let's see if the robot appears where we think it should be. Maybe we'd like it a little bit more to the left. If we do that, remember we located it initially at 200 pixels from the left. Let's move that, or 150 pixels, excuse me, 150 pixels from the left. Let's drop that back to just 100. If we run the program again, notice how the robot is over a little. Now what we're going to try to do in this demonstration is to move the robot over to this side. If we just have it go forward, it'll run into a to the line. Let's do that to begin with. If we start by saying R forward, remember all the robot commands start with an R, R forward 100. We see the robot go forward. Now we can slow it down a little by putting in R speed, let's say 100, and it moves very, very slowly. If we close the program by pushing that X in the right corner, let's make it go a little faster, perhaps R speed 10. The bigger the number, the slower it goes. And if we run it now, we see the robot coming up. Now what would happen if we make it go too far? Let's say 200. Now it will run into the wall. When it does, we get an error saying that the robot has collided with an object. In order to keep it from colliding with an object, before we move the, for the robot forward 200 spaces, let's make it turn. R, turn. And let's say we turn it 100 degrees to the right. A negative number would turn it to the left. Now the robot will turn and then go forward. Since it was only going 200, it didn't get far enough to run into an object. Let's go back. We would like it to actually move a little more. Let's say 150. Now we've moved it all the way down to here. If we now have it turn a little to the left and move again, let's try that. So after we move down here, we'll have it R turn to the left, so it's a minus number. Let's say minus 50, and then R forward again. Let's again choose 200 and see what happens. So it turns moves downward, then turns back to the left, and moves forward. Now one of the things we might want to do is to make the robot turn a little bit more than 50 so that it's coming across here more parallel. And we need to have it move quite a bit further so that it gets out here. 
So let's move it minus 60 and then maybe have it move 300. We run the program again. Robot comes down, turns over. We might want to again move just a little further to the right before we start going northward. So let's move it 400. And then we'll have it our turn again to the left. And we'll turn, let's say, 100 degrees and move forward 200 again. And it turns and comes upward. If we want to get it to finish up all the way over here, we could turn it left a little bit and then move forward again. Let's try that. We'll have it our turn minus 40, our forward perhaps 200, and we'll run again. And we've succeeded at getting our robot all the way around. If you read through chapter one in the Robot Basic Beginners book and do all the exercises, you'll find out much more than we've showed you here. But hopefully this can help you get started and feel comfortable working with Robot Basic.